G'day and welcome to my garage. I'm Peter. My entry for the Toolfest 2021 is the machinist clamps that I'm making at the present moment. Uh, this particular video is number seven in the series of making these machinist clamps. The, uh, the patterns I bought the drawings I bought off the, the internet, I can't remember for the life of me, I'll, I'll make note. Um, the drawings I bought off the internet for this uh, clamp, it's a 75mm or 3, uh, three inch clamps, there's two of them. This is. Uh, one, one of them. It's getting uh, close to being finished. Still got a couple of more videos to make. But currently I'm working on the bearing pin, which is this one here, and the main screw. So um, enjoy this video and I invite you Uh, to check out the other six videos in the so I've enjoyed this video and other entries in the Toolfest 2021. You may be able to see that I've already cut the two flats on this um, bearing pin. I now have to drill a quarter or six mil hole, a reamed six mil hole. So I've choked up a three mil. I can't drill all the way through in this setup because I've got my parallels in the back here. So I'm going 15 mil deep and, uh, and then I'll finish the rest off by hand. I'm drilling out the hole I just did on the uh, milling machine all the way through now. Just reaming this out to uh, 6 mil. more love juice. Okay, um, now I've got to drill a hole which I should have done in the first operation through the sock. May not be able to see that properly. That way. I should have done it when I was first in the lathe. Should have been the very first operation actually. Anyhow, I'll put it in a collet. Uh, oh, hang on. I've got to see if my uh, if this is an MT3 uh, spindle in the chuck for the in yeah in the, the 
whether it's an MT3 spindle. I'll go and do that now. Well, it has an MT3 spindle, which is great because I have a uh, spindle ch uh, ER 40, are they? I can't remember. Um, collet chuck on an on a MT3 spindle. <coughs> That's what the mini lathe took. Anyhow, let's uh, drill this out for an M5. So that's a 4.2 drill. Bit of juice up there. Let's go. Oh, hang on, I haven't got the big the standard chuck in there, have I? This is a, an M5. Okay, that will be enough, enough to get us started and uh, Take that out and over to the bench. And then I've got to do the same on the other side. I won't bore you with that, so uh, just let me take this out. I've got some terrible shadows being cast because I've got the sun coming through directly onto the machine. So let's try this out. Uh, I have a piece of all, <coughs> excuse me, M10 oil thread rather than uh, single pointing a, a, a screw. This is the main screw that operates the machinist clamp. So I'm, as I said I'm using a piece of all thread and then on the other end I will weld a uh, coupling nut cut to 20 meter, 20 meters, 20 millimeters long. But first, this has got to be, um, I'm going 13, where am I going, 16.5 deep with an M6, but I'm just going to mark off the 16, drill, uh, drill it, because it has to be tapped, a screw comes in from the end, but first I'll just mark this length off. Uh, where am I? Here. Couple more mil. That's it. That's 8 mil. Later on I'll take it down to uh, 6. But first I'll drill a, um, uh, a 4.2 mil hole for an M5 for an M5 screw. Just measure the depth of that at 16 millimeters. Um, yeah, 16 mil deep. <coughs> Excuse me. So this was 8 mil. Uh, 
Oh, I really should thread really should thread that just in case it deforms it. thread I was getting out of that uh, about 13 millimeters uh, that's beautiful wow. doesn't like a 20 thou cut Six point six, so points point six. Uh, ten is uh, point five. Six point one, which is what it's supposed to be. That's the fit. Okay, that fits good. This, excuse me, this is the uh, the screw that was just in the lathe. Um, I've already I already did one before, just to make sure everything was working, and uh, cut a coupling up to size. Still got to clean it up. I've got a lot of cleaning up on the whole thing, but um, yep, that's the first one. This is the second one now. There, it's okay. There is a problem. It it works fine, but I know that the alignment of this screw is slightly out. I would say the thread in the nut here was cut on a slight angle. If that had moved, I did, I started the thread with this uh, clamped in the mill and I know at one time I had problems uh, one of these turned around on me. Um, can't remember which one it was. But I caught it and reclamped and started again. This could have been it, maybe. 
but it's it's working smooth but there's no so this one's got a little bit of free play in it this one's got no free play it's it's hard up against this shoulder and um, well can't tell on this end because it's beautiful fit but anyhow I shall since it works I'm not going to worry about it shouldn't have told you I'm now going to cut the coupling nut, nut down to 20 mil same as that one and then we'll then I'll weld them weld them on all right let's go to the vice all right clean this up on the back sander We shall do some welding. All right, <clears throat> this is the, uh, I've welded the nut onto the all thread. I've already done the first one, so uh, just trying to copy the same, the same theme. Ah, that's not right. Fifteen point four. Fifteen. All right. Close enough for that. Turn the lathe backwards.
that's over as far as it can go. I remember having this problem before. That's what determined the angle. to undercut on the inside edge here. And that size is 15.6. And that should look very similar. That is finished. Very good.